A lot of birds at night. people good evening I hope you're having a wonderful night ahead here I am now it's around 7 30 p.m. in the evening I just got to Puerto Princesa with Maui boy and that's Maui boy he's exploring the place here so we came from El Nido to Puerto Princesa it took us around six hours guys it took us six hours to get here with the stopover so this is the place here man look at the bed we got the queen size bed, man. It's so big, guys. So beautiful. It's very cozy. And Maui boy is roaming around the place. We can see he's wandering because we are wanderers. So we gotta wander, man. That's why Maui boy is wandering all over the place. This is his litter box, his food, his water, and his towel. Everything is ready. And the boy is looking for a spot to hide, guys. He's looking for a spot to make it his house, to make it, you know, cozy. Here we have a small table, TV. We have a ref here. This is a ref, a table, and two chairs here. Man, everything is perfect. We got air conditioning. Very, very cozy room, you know, very beautiful. We have also a cabinet here. This cabinet fits me, man. It's big. So I opened it for Maui boy. I put him his rugs and his stuff inside so that he can hide there later. Dresser here. And you can see me in the dresser, man. I am here. <laughs> so this is the chair. Let's see the bathroom, guys. This is the bathroom here. We can see the... Uh, what do you call this? There is like a bathtub in here There is a mirror It's simple but it's really clean guys We can see it's really really clean They even got hot shower So it's really perfect You don't need to worry about feeling cold man This is my welcome drink guys Cheers everybody Oh my god It's tasting so good guys I'll be resting for a while Stay tuned. Good boy. Using his CR, boy. My boy used his CR. He's always good boy. He uses his CR. He used his bathroom here, the boy. He doesn't just wee or poo anywhere. Right, boy? Now I'm feeling him. I think he's really hungry, but he doesn't want to eat by his own, you know? So now I'm feeding him. Boy! Food boy. Hey guys, this is my first night here. I'm going to eat dinner now. It's like 10 p.m. in the evening. I'm going to have uh, my dinner either in Jollibee or uh, in McDonald's. But I think I will uh, stick to Jollibee because it's Filipino, man. I want to eat some Filipino Jollibee food. That's McDonald's there. Uh, it's like today I did not eat lunch and I did not eat dinner guys It's just walking distance from our hotel It's very near, you don't need to take tricycle or anything Man, it looks like a city, you know Does it look like you're in uh, El Nido or in uh, Coron? It looks like a real city here That's Jollibee over there Everything you see in the city in Manila you see it here this is Dunkin' Donuts here. It's 
So in El Nido and Corona, I never seen a stoplight there. Here you can see stoplight, you can see Chao King, you can see uh, Jollibee, man, you can see everything. You can see Mangi Nasal, it's there near Jollibee. So everything that you see in the city, you know, you will find it here. This is Mr. Jollibee, man. This is Mr. Jolly. Hello. Good evening. I have only one bar in my pottery and I forgot to bring the other battery. I asked for gravy and she said refillable. So if it's refillable, this is what you do. And then you go back to refill, right? Because it's refillable. Because she said for extra gravy you pay, but if it's refillable, it's free. So I don't have battery, guys, but this is my food. I ordered two chicken and a lot of gravy, guys. I got a lot of gravy. Man. I also ordered jumbo fries. I'm still waiting for it. They did not uh, serve it yet. Wow. So I'm here now, I'll be having my breakfast. I'm really uh, craving for coffee now. I'll be eating the omelette now guys, we can see it got a lot of vegetables inside, cheese in there, look at these vegetables in there, we can see there are a lot of vegetables. You wish it in the church and it will it will be granted. Okay, so please include me in your wishes. A little bit history of the church. The church was uh, reconstructed, reconstructed and finished in 1960. It was reconstructed because during the Second World War in 1944 the church was bombed and destroyed. So it had been reconstructed and finished in 1960 as a replacement for the old church. This is the first village here in Puerto Princesa. As you can see, almost antique houses. Okay. What's the name of the church here? Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Immaculate Conception, Conception Cathedral. Cathedral. How old is it? Uh, 1960, so it's more or less uh, 57 years old. Oh, yeah. So we just got here now in this uh, church here it's like uh, 1960 57 years old man they said all people go here to visit this place so if you have a wish you know you go to this place and you tell your wish or you wish for something it's gonna happen man i wish that i'll have a lot of subscribers this year i'm here in the church now wishing for a lot of blessings you know so this is the place here we're going inside right now we're gonna check it out this village also is like an uh, old village of Puerto Princesa, so you know all the houses they're antique, 
old houses here. Wow, this is so beautiful. So I'm not sure if we can go inside. So let's go inside. Don't talk loud, guys. Don't talk loud. Don't talk at all, guys. Just listen to me, but don't talk. This church looks so clean here, you know, clean and uh, organized, everything is organized in here. Wow. So this is the second entrance on this side. We can see there's like a small garden, outside there's like a small garden in here. Wow, this is so beautiful, man. You can see the people, they're cleaning. I don't know what's that. Uh, I think it's like a changing room, you know? <laughs> I don't know what's in here. We can see it's really, really huge, you know? It fits a lot of people in here. All right, guys, so we gotta go. One of the historical places of Puerto Princesa where Inside this compound, more or less 150 American POWs were burned alive by the Japanese. 